Previously on Sparks. Oh my God, is that Sachin? Sachin Tendulkar, the cricket star. One of the problems that I've been tackling is the lack of lighting on sports field. I want to see if you know someone who can help me achieve this. Lindsay. As you can see, the problem facing Sachin's project is how to get electricity to power the lights. And that's where your solar panels come to the rescue. We're in. But more importantly, we also need some seed capital. That should be easy. Remember our old friend, Zach Sito? I never said I wasn't interested, Jasper. I'm going through a divorce. I'm not making any moves until it's settled. I am so sorry to say, but you have a very, very difficult battle ahead of you. I was just trying to make a career decision without involving my personal life. I shouldn't be a factor in any of your decisions. That's not what I meant. Carolyn, about the position in Jakarta. You've made a decision. I'm going to take it. Hi, Chester. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sachin. We want to update you on our progress. Now, we've already connected with one of our clients called Lindsay Wong. She owns a solar energy business, and she's already agreed to help. That's great news. So do we have a rough timeline? We're following up on a few leads, but we hope to get everything in place in about five weeks' time. I see. Is there a problem? I was originally hoping to launch the project before the 28th. There is an International Renewable Energy Forum, and I want to present the project to them to raise more awareness and get their support. 28th is three weeks away. Well, can we make it happen? Twenty-eighth it is. Thanks, Chester. Really appreciate it. She wanted half of everything. So I gave her half of everything. Hmm. Come up. Besides being for a good cause, the project also makes perfect business sense. Now, according to our analysis, there are an estimated 300 million people living in off-grid communities in India alone. Worldwide, more than a billion. I know exactly what you're feeling. Starts off as a small crack, a small argument here, a little misunderstanding there. You probably don't even notice it at first. But the space between you grows until one day you find yourself asking, how did that tiny insignificant crack become this gaping chasm? I push someone I love away. And the thing I regret the most is not what I did, but what I didn't do. Some things in life are worth saying sorry for. Call me if you need anything. And one final signature there. Give us a minute. Do you remember the day we met? We were at Melissa's party. Someone spilled their drink on you. I turned around to help you, and you ended up spilling your drink on me. What I never told you about that day was that I was trying to get your attention the whole night, when our eyes finally met, I knew that you would be someone special in my life, that I couldn't let you go. Why are you telling me this now? Because in my quest to be this successful businessman, I lost sight of what is truly important to me.
guys, have you seen Jasper's message? We got the funding. Zach Zito has pledged full financial. What's going on? We don't have the land to build the solar farm. The family is called and they can't come to an agreement. But what about the other options? None of them work. They are either too far or get too little sun exposure. So that's it? We have to get the villagers to install solar panels on the roofs of their homes. It's the only way. But how? They weren't receptive the last time we asked. We give them a presentation. Show them how the solar panels work and how we can help them. I can put one together. And I can get the village elders to get as many people as possible. But I can guarantee all of them will make it. Well, there is one person who can get everyone to show up. Now think about all the things you can power with this free electricity from the sun. Homes, schools, and even sports fields. And the most important thing is that this power is in our hands. We can't sit with our hands. We have to do something. We have to do something. We have to write our own words. तो आप सब हैं हमारे साथ। child in India, the same opportunity I got when I was young.
ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Now, Zach and Janice have graciously asked me to say a few words at this wonderful vow renewal ceremony. So I'm going to read out a few life lessons from one of my favorite books, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Share everything. Play fair. Put things back where you found them. When you hurt someone, say sorry. Flush. <laughs> now, all this is true no matter how old you get. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands, and stick together. Mr. and Mrs. Sito, kindly reaffirm your vows. Right. Do you? I've Janice? always liked listening to wedding vows. Its beauty and meaning derived from the timeless notions of devotion, honor, and love. Its strength stems from our solemn choice to live by them. I absolutely do. For the rest of our lives. Zach and Janet. Zach and Janet. Hello, Team DBS. Hey. Thank you all for coming. I know how much it means to him that all of you are here. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. For everything and more. I want to propose a toast to the team working behind the scenes, pulling it all together. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Can the team go behind the scenes and do something for me? And what's that, Mr. Wong? Find Lindsay a husband. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm really sorry. It's always like oh, God. We'll see what we can do. So what kind cheers, of cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, cheers to my... Our next cheers. assignment. Hey. Hey. That was a nice ceremony. Yeah. What's on your mind? I'm just thinking about all the adventures we've had. With all the people we met along the way. We did a lot, didn't we? Yeah. Claire, I want you to know I feel so blessed having you in my life. You taught me so much about work, about love, about life. Is there anything I can do to convince you to stay? Maybe it's not so bad. We go have different experiences. Meet other people. Who knows what will happen next? Well, you take care of yourself out there. As we look out at the sun setting over the horizon, I can't help but think about all that we were able to accomplish on this incredible journey. And we couldn't have done it without the unwavering sense of purpose, the wonderful people we've met along the way, and that incredible spark inside each one of us.